Texas foster care system is under fire tonight with a federal judge ordering sweeping changes. Texas Attorney General Greg Paxton already announced an appeal filed opposing the ruling. He said Judge Janice Graham Jack's plan is both incomplete and impractical. Two years ago, the same judge called the system unconstitutionally broken. Now she says a state overhaul needs to include improvements in record keeping, caseworker visits, and where children are placed. KXAN's Kylie McGivern spoke with a social worker about the challenges the state is facing. Part of my concern is that we have made major steps in improving our child welfare system, but we've really done them um, under the idea that Texas knows best what's best for Texas. And sometimes you need to bring in outside support. Will Francis with the National Association of Social Workers Texas chapter says a political fight over who knows best gets us away from the real issue. It ultimately doesn't really allow us all to say we're not treating kids well and ultimately we're not the best parents for those kids as a state. Francis credited the legislature for taking the steps it did last session, including hiring more caseworkers. And the federal judge wrote the moves made were admirable, but wrote policies not practiced are of no value. We're still having kids who at 18 are stepping off into really negative outcomes, and those are homelessness, those are around substance abuse, those are around criminal justice. The ordered changes include steps to provide greater oversight and reduce sexual abuse and further reduce workloads for caseworkers, among others. To the best of my knowledge, no other state has gotten this far down the appeals process and continue to sort of stonewall and continue to say, we're not ready to admit our own culpability in this. Francis says if the state doesn't acknowledge there's more work to be done, we're selling ourselves and children in need short. Kylie McGivern, KXAN News. The judge appointed independent monitors to track the state's progress and file reports every six months. Last May, Governor Greg Abbott signed a handful of bills to improve CPS. They include moving the Department of Family and Protective Services to its own standalone agency. That gives child welfare officials a direct line of communication to the governor. It also creates a community-based care model that allows CPS to outsource case management to nonprofits. That way, the agency can focus on caring for foster children. New laws also give foster Babies. parents more money from the state.